Now, you've been talking about sentinel node biopsy and management of the axilla. Where do we stand? At, I mean, why is this a crucial issue right now? So, yeah, I mean, so over the last uh, about uh, almost now 20 years, you know, there, there has been a, a significant evolution in how we assess the axilla. Uh, we went from axillary dissection, which uh, uh, has significant comorbidity in terms of lymphedema and arm numbness and tingling, uh, to a much lesser, less invasive procedure, which is called sentinel lymph node biopsy. And the idea behind this sentinel lymph node biopsy is to identify a few nodes or node that drain primarily the, the breast and remove that node to get the same information that we get with an axillary And what's your assessment of how well this is going? It's going very well over the last 20 years. It's become the standard of care for patients with negative center node. So if we remove the center node and it's negative, we don't dissect the axilla anymore. And from then on, we actually have expanded the use of this now to even use it for patients with limited number of positive center nodes where we don't dissect the rest of the axilla. And also we have made significant progress in assessing this in patients treated with neoadjuvant chemotherapy so we can downstage the disease in the nodes and then perform the sentinel node after neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Of course, you lose some information by going for sentinel node therapy. You may you? lose some information, particularly if the nodes are positive, but if the nodes are negative, you really don't because uh, you expect that the remaining of the nodes are negative as well. Right, so what's your analysis of what the pluses are and, and, and what doctors need to be doing now? Well, the pluses are significantly reduction in morbidity. And we see much less rates of lymphedema, uh, less uh, arm numbness, uh, arm dysfunction, um, and, and we get essentially the same information. So uh, it has been uniformly adopted now throughout the world as the standard of care for non-negative patients and, again, in, in, in selected non-positive patients as well. What then are the controversial issues in this? Um, the controversial issue is that the procedure has a small false negative rate. In other words, when you take the center node out, um, there is a small possibility that you will declare the center node to be negative, but other nodes behind, left behind may be positive. Those rates are about 5 to 10 percent, depending on the circumstance. But because patients present with less and less risk of involvement of the axilla when you sort of multiply these two numbers, you're left with a very small number when you leave disease behind. And the clinical data suggests that even if that happens, it doesn't affect disease-free or overall survival. In other words, it's as safe of a procedure as the extensive axillary dissection that we've done before. Because rates of local recurrence in the axilla are very, very low with sentinel lymph node biopsy. So what messages do you think doctors need to absorb from what we now know about the use of sentinel node? Well, the main message is that it has been now a standard of care that we've demonstrated through many randomized clinical trials for non-negative patients, but now it has a place in node-positive patients. And by using the, the sentinel lymph node biopsy and selectively radiotherapy for some patients that with positive sentinel nodes, we can actually avoid completion axillary dissections in the majority of the patients. Because what we have found also through clinical trials is that if you do a sentinel lymph node biopsy, even if the nodes are positive, and you don't dissect the axilla versus, and give radiotherapy to the axilla versus if you dissect the axilla, the morbidity from radiotherapy is less than the morbidity from an axillary dissection. So the take home message is that axillary dissection is kind of going to go by the wayside you know, uh, not in the too distant future, by, by finding all these different ways of approaching the center of the node, and, and, and thus not necessitating an axillary dissection. And many people won't be sad to see it go. Right. No, absolutely not, because it's a procedure that is associated with significant comorbidity.